Oh dear. I always tell myself, oh, you know what? I can feed her without making a mess. She doesn't need a bib. And then every single time this happens. <laughs> so guys, even if you think that you don't need to, just, just pop a bib on. She's got porridge everywhere. So I gave her some baby porridge. Um, and I mixed in some yogurt, some of this stuff that I picked up from Aldi the other day. She really likes this. Uh, yesterday she had the same thing, but uh, with the strawberry flavour. And yeah. Oopsie, now I need to like get her cleaned up. It was just easier to give her a bath. Who's having a bath? Asia. Hello. She is doing the show on your, my sister. Okay. And my sister too. Yeah, she's there. I can see her. Yeah. So, Garsim has set up a lovely sensory yeah. set up for Ursia. Mm. Yeah, it was his idea to close all the doors and the lights to make it nice and dark. I've just set up the play mat on the floor um yeah i mean for 15 pounds it's fine at least it's not brightly colored um and the neutrals kind of go with the room um i realized i messed up the pattern this is gonna bother me so much <laughs> but you know what i'm gonna leave it for another day and then come back and make sure see that needs that's in the wrong place damn it okay i'm gonna have to sort that another time but yeah, for anyone that's new on my channel, this is from Aldi. I picked it up yesterday or the day before. I popped Essie on the floor and I'm about to make some onion bargees. I don't think I've mentioned, um, but we're going to have a flat on my in-laws. And I'm just going to take over just a few onion bargees for our starters. Yes, I'm going to do what I did yesterday, but double the amount. So I've sliced up two potatoes, two onions. I've got a garlic um, frozen cube just defrosting there. And then here I've got my gram flour and I've got um, one and a half teaspoons of cumin and coriander, one teaspoon of salt and then chili flakes, and then half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of black pepper. So I'm gonna mix that up and then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of ginger paste. I think I'm gonna do three chilies, um, add some, coriander in and add some mint leaves so I've just mixed all my spices into my flour and I like doing this first because it means that all my spices are mixed in really well instead of popping them straight into the wet ingredients and then I don't know sometimes I feel like certain spices stick and they don't blend in very well if you do it like that. so these batch of onion bodies are the first batch and I've noticed that they're not sticking very well uh, so I've gone and added some more ground flour to the mixture and hopefully the next batch will be a lot better okay so these are the first batch and actually they don't look that bad they're okay I mean this one this one's definitely not gonna make it to my in-laws because what is this okay but the others I think yeah they're good okay so that's all the onion bodies done however the first batch is looking pretty light skinned so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour it back into whatever's left in this like batter mix, give it a good stir, and then add it back in the oil and let it cook some more and hopefully develop the color it needs. This is my batch of onion bargees that I'm gonna be taking to my in-laws. I just hope that they taste nice. Inshallah they do. Um, I mean, they look amazing. So yeah, can't wait to dig into these later on. Hey, so it's time we cut. Oh, it's around 6 p.m. and I'm I'm a bit embarrassed at myself for not showing my face and catching up with you guys earlier, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, if you're new here, my name is Madeline, um, and I have been trying my very best to vlog every single day in Ramadan. So if you love Ramadan like vlogs and like the Ramadan series, please subscribe. I'm like 10 subscribers away from 500. 
if i can get to 500 by the end of ramadan i'd be so happy and i would love for you guys just to help me out um excuse the dust i can see so much dust this camera's gonna pick up so many like particles um anyways hey mommy i've got my little girl there chilling what's new guys what's new oh my goodness me i kind of feel like the quality of my ramadan vlogs are starting to deteriorate just because i don't know what to vlog about i don't want to keep like showing you guys the same thing i mean there's only so many times i can like record myself cleaning the kitchen <laughs> um but you know what if you guys love that kind of thing like you know miss hinch vibes then let me know and i will keep doing it um, but I'm just mindful that I'm getting a bit repetitive and I'm worrying about the quality of my vlogs. So moving forward, I'm going to try and vlog every few days, maybe one day on, one day off, or maybe three days uh, in a row and then take a break. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to record just for the sake of it. Um, I want to make sure that I'm uploading like things that you guys want to watch. Okay. You want to say hi? Come on. Okay. Here's Essia. Hey, boo boo. Hey. Um, so I wanted to hop on because I want to show you guys something that I've purchased recently. Um, so the holiday prep has started and I put like, I've purchased like a coordinate set. You can say that for me. I picked up this coordinate set, which I once saw one of my friends wear when she went on holiday. And I remember I asked her like, oh my gosh, beautiful set. And I was like, right, next time I go on holiday, I need to grab the same fit because it looked beautiful on her. So you've got these, um, I forgot what you call them, it's not ribbed, but these are the trousers. And then I got the shirt with it. Right, let me try this on for you guys. This is the fit and I don't like it. It looked so beautiful on my friend. Um, so I really like the shirt, actually. I like the shirt, Ooh. but I don't like the trousers. I don't know. Guys, tell me, would you guys keep this or would you return it? It's a little bit stiff, the material. And I got I got it from the petite range. However, it's a little bit long, so I feel like I might need to wear heels with it. Um, have I got a belt anywhere? Let's see what it looks like with a belt on. Can I? I mean, this belt doesn't match, but It'll give me an idea of whether a belt might. Um, guys, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I'm so sad. So the next thing isn't a holiday item. However, it is something that I have already and I wore the life out of it. Um, I know it's ripped and it's got even holes in it and I just, because I loved it so much, I went ahead and bought it again. And it's just a pair of trainers. So if you'll follow me on Instagram, you will know how much I love my Dr. Martins. I wear them all the time with every single outfit. Um, however, you know, the weather's turning warmer and Dr. Martins are not really a summer thing, are they? I need an alternative everyday shoe that I can just hop on that I know will fit every single outfit. Now, let me warn you, these shoes have not impressed many people. A lot of people think these are ugly shoes, but I am obsessed with them. Ta da I love these so much. Wow, I've got them in size four and a half. Normally I'm size four, but my other shoes I own like this are four and a half, so I must have sized up for a reason. But yeah, they are stunning. They're just basic pumps. You know, when you've got errands to run and you need to quickly put a shoe on. This is, uh, what I need to do is kind of like, right now the white is quite bright. Um, and I need to like tone that down with just wearing it out um, so that the contrast is not so harsh. But I love these trainers. Yes. Yes, yeah, let's give you a cuddle. I'm so gutted about my outfit. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I've got quite a few day outfits. It's the evening outfits that I need. I have had a look at Amayma's, um Instagram page because she forever inspires me. Like, I feel like we have the same taste in clothes. So instead of like searching and browsing online for an outfit, I know I can just go on there, be inspired and head off and, you know, replicate 
a outfit. So uh, when she went on holiday, she wore this beautiful gold shiny satin, look like satin, um, shirt with black jeans. And then on Sheen, they had these beautiful shirts that were very similar. Um, so I bought two. Uh, and I thought I'd just pair them up with black skinny fits and that's going to have to, you know, do as two of my evening outfits because they're both breastfeeding uh, friendly. And the evening dresses that I have got, I have some stunning pieces, but they are not breastfeeding friendly. So, yeah. I'm doing that. I'm going to FaceTime Sabrine, ask her about this outfit. Guys, let me know what you guys think and be honest. Would you keep it or would you not? And yeah, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get her bag ready, pop her pyjamas on and then wait for Yasser to pick me up and then we're going to go around to his mum's. guys so recently i've kind of developed a little hack i don't know if you'd call it a hack but it's you know really helped me stay organized and it's really helped me with Sahota time so there's been about three four occasions where i've kind of woke up really late and i've not left myself enough time to eat so what i've started doing now is i normally do this at night time but just because we're going to my in-laws and i know we we'll to get back late and then trying to put the kids in I might forget to do this. I'm going to do it now and I'm going to show you guys what I do. I basically prepare my porridge so that it's ready to go. So that when I wake up in the morning, all I have to do is pop it in the microwave and it's done. So I add my porridge. Oh, by the way, look. Look. MashaAllah, they smell beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to dig into those. Inshallah, like they taste as good as they smell. So I've got my porridge, I'm going to add my walnuts, so I'll dice them up, pop them in, and I've got my time, so I'll do maybe like, maybe two or three, dice them up, add them in, what else do I put in? I normally put my um, almond or oat milk, don't have any, I've run out, so before I go to my in-laws, I'm going to need to quickly nip into Tesco and grab some, and yeah, the only thing that I then need to add to it is just sprinkle some of this stuff. Um, on top which is super nutritious and really good and then if I feel like adding a banana I'll add a banana and then yeah so I've saved myself like five minutes or however long it normally takes me to like prep oh yeah I also add some cinnamon did I say that I don't know if I said that and some peanut butter peanut butter when I don't have sahur I really notice my energy energy levels um, are so depleted and I don't know, I'm really scared that my milk supply is going to suffer, so I can't, I can't miss the hood. If I wasn't um, breastfeeding, I don't think it would have bugged me if I missed the hood, but it really gets to me when I miss the hood because essentially I'm getting in the way of feeding my daughter, like, you know, and that makes me feel really guilty. Ramadan's messed everyone's sleeping routine, and I really need to you know get it back on track because Aston returns back to school on Tuesday so his sleeping routines are all over the place he literally went to sleep at 11 p.m. yesterday he's still waking up early like he wakes up at half seven uh, but I know when it's school he won't wake up at half seven he'll wake up he'll want to wake up at like half eight half half eight nine which is so typical on school holidays he'll wake up bright and early and then during like when school's open he's just not interested about waking up right some peanut butter i just do a teaspoon of that and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to pop some cling film over it and then later on just before so hold, i'll add milk which normally i add anyways um, and let it just soak up add milk cinnamon oh there's so many things i add but it's worth it because it tastes so good sometimes i even go in with some, a bit of honey if i want it a little bit more sweeter all right, so that's done for. So what a time. Looks like that. Yummy. A little, little, you know, transition. 
all right guys so it's that time of the day where i bid you farewell thank you so much for watching i do really appreciate all the views and all the comments and yeah if you haven't subscribed please do consider subscribing i would love for us to connect um i did record this part early on by the way just because i knew it would get really manic and i wanted i wanted to you know end this vlog properly so yeah inshallah i will see you tomorrow or i might see you after tomorrow we'll see how i feel um but yeah see you soon bye